Hey everybody, uh, I'm PJ, and uh, I can't sleep, so I decided to look into a, uh, a really interesting glitch uh, that I've been calling the Everything Fish, uh, which was found by none other than Lil Dingus. Uh, and strangely, no one has been able to reproduce it, uh, which was really peculiar, especially for a game like this. So I decided to look into it a little bit. Um, it's worth noting that uh, one reason I, I was unsuccessful at replicating this before is that it only works on Rockman 3, the Famicom version of Mega Man 3, does not work on the US version. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll show off real quick what this glitch is. <clears throat> so here's a save state with it already set up. Um, here's the everything fish, he's just kind of swimming around, it looks like it just cycles through a whole bunch of random sprites, maybe all of the sprites in the game, maybe not, and then uh, the everything fish decides he's too good for this world, and he dives underwater. And uh, the everything fish does have collision detection. We can't kill it uh, with the buster. And when he does dive underwater, he is, in fact, gone. So, pellets go through. No hitbox. Um, interestingly, we can kill the everything fish with topspin. So he's gone now. So basically what's happening here, uh, from what I can tell, I'll get a, a fresh a fresh slot here. Um, in the Japanese version, there are these spawn triggers for these nut enemies. And uh, you can just like keep wiggling over the spawn trigger and it'll consistently spawn the left knot here. Um, so like the, the way these things spawn is that, you know, there's the right knot that's already in place. And then the, uh, let's see if we can respawn him. And then the left nut flies across the screen to meet it. It screws in. It's invincible during the screw animation. And then when it combines fully, it becomes an enemy that you can kill. <clears throat> um, but yeah, in the Japanese version, unlike the US version, you can just continuously spawn the left nut. And uh, what happens is if you spawn two of these, and you kill it after it spawns, um, the second one is still gonna try and screw into imaginary nothing. And, uh, it's gonna end up doing really bizarre things. So, one of the things that will happen is that it spawns the everything fish. Another really common thing is that, um, it'll attach itself to an item drop. So we'll see if we can, uh, get a drop from this first thing. There's one. Okay, didn't actually happen that time. You'll notice if it happens. There it is. So the first one that fully formed actually dropped something on the ground. I don't know what it is. Let's equip something that's missing ammo in case it's a weapon pickup. Oh, there it is. So the thing dropped a small, uh, a small weapon energy, and then the incomplete nut uh, latched onto it and attached itself to that. Um, I think if I didn't have a weapon that was needing ammo, uh, I think you just take damage, because, like, I was shooting it and it was just pinging off, so the way it interacts is really strange. There's weapon energy again. Let's see. Yeah, I just took damage. I don't know if it actually subtracted any health or if I just got recoil from it. It looks like I just took recoil. So it's really strange. Um, what's happening, I think, is the same thing that sometimes happens in, uh, in similar games, like, uh, with... The Phantom Boomerang, the Phantom Grab in Mega Man X, or I think uh, Yoshi's Island has some weird stuff with null sprite glitches. Where the game knows that there's supposed to be an object there, but it doesn't really know what it's supposed to be. So, in this case, what happened uh, is that this little electric barrier thing isn't spawned. We're gonna keep that spawned off screen. And once the null object is formed, unless there's a drop on the ground, we scroll it on screen. It seems like the bolt attaches itself to the uh, the electric barrier. So the barrier is gone. You can see that the, the everything fish is moving like the barrier is, except all the sprites are screwed up. Um, so I, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Uh, it does work again, like here. It works all over the place, really, wherever these things are. Again, we just kill one. Oh, it didn't work that time. Um, I just figured this out like 10 minutes ago, so I still don't really have a good concept of what's happening. Um, I do know if you collect one of these uh, null sprite power-ups, 
the guy is gone forever. Like, previously when I was showing it off, I was able to just respawn him and do whatever, but he's he's gone for good. We collected him. He's now magnet ammo. Um, but yeah, you can turn this guy into an everything fish as well. But I don't know how it prioritizes what it's what the the null sprite's going to get assigned to. That time it just vanished. Other times it'll prioritize pickups. That was a pickup. Barrier's gone too. This is a pretty tough everything fish to create. I'm determined now though, I'm too stubborn to give up. Nope. Gotta drop. So it's it's important for the the second one to still be screwing in. Wildly, there we go. Um Yeah, it needs, to, it needs to still be screwing in uh, after the first one has already become vulnerable and died. Um, if it finishes screwing in before the first one's dead, then nothing happens. But it's, uh, I guess it's at the point where, you know, once once the screws or the nuts finish screwing in, then it becomes a, a distinct enemy, a different enemy. And uh, I think that's where it runs into some confusion. So in theory, it should work on this guy, too. Yeah, he became a power-up. We'll just collect him. Um, so you could just go ahead and do this with... with everything, I think. But again, I'm not really sure what determines uh, whether or not it attaches to something. He's health. That was cute. Screen wrap there, the barrier's gone. And then this is the, the classic everything fish. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting glitch. Um, I'm not sure if it would be useful for anything, but that's at least what's happening here. Uh, and it's re reproducible, as long as you're playing on this version. Um, so that begs the question of whether or not it can be used anywhere else. Um, the answer, of course, is yes. But it's not nearly as glorious. So here's Top Man stage. Um, there's nothing for it to attach to. Oh no, there is actually. So there's supposed to be another another nut up here. There should be two. Yeah. So it looks like that null sprite got attached to. Uh... I wonder if we can spawn three of them if something glorious will happen then. Yeah, so th that one's gone, at least. But, yeah, nothing special happens here. I haven't spawned an everything fish there. I spawned him into a power-up. I haven't been able to, uh... to assign one of the nuts to one of these little hopper guys. I haven't been able to do that. But, uh, I don't know. That one's just kind of stuck there. It's gone now. So yeah, maybe someone can figure out uh, what's going on, maybe find some cool exploit, but for now, that's all I got. Um, pretty fun glitch. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed.